Good morning. It's day 22 of my journey. It's Sunday, March the 20th, 2022, and I woke up to a winter wonderland this morning. Um, thankful I was in the shelter. I didn't. Good thing I didn't have to deal with my tent again this morning in the ice and snow. Um, but it's. Uh, I got it. Got on the trail early this morning. I got on about uh, 6:40. Been on the trail about an hour right now. I uh, just want to show you, show you what I'm seeing here this morning. Trees are all iced up. Look at that. Wind's blowing. I'm hoping it's going to get a little, I think it's supposed to get a little bit warmer today. I was told it was supposed to be like yesterday, nice and sunny in the afternoon, late, late afternoon as usual. All right, on my way. Boy, I sure hope you can see what I'm seeing. <laughs> this is so cool. So I'm not far from Davenport Gap where I will be picked up by my wife and go into town, resupply, wash clothes, take a shower, and uh, sleep in a bed. But before my day ends, I just wanted to answer some questions from the sixth grade class at Butler Elementary School in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Um, they're one qu first question um, was, what kind of wildlife have I seen? Now, I have seen, let me see. The assortment of birds. I've seen squirrels, chipmunks, mice. Mice are mainly in the shelters. And uh, grouse. I've seen quite a few deer. And uh, I haven't seen a bear yet, but I've seen bear tracks. So, oh, and I've seen snakes too. Um, next question was, I think, uh, let me see, what was it? Uh, is there anything I wish I would have brought? Yes, I wish I would have brought more of Aunt Jen's chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> well, even if they get crunched up, they st they're still good. But um, on, the, uh, on the other side of it, though, there are some things that uh, I did get rid of because I brought too much. But but no, I, I, there's nothing, I think I planned enough for enough ahead and uh, there was nothing I really wish I would have brought so uh, let me see now the next question uh, oh how difficult is it to cook um, well it's it's really not that difficult the only th um, I, I have this uh, it's called a jet boil system I'll put some pictures up so you can see what it is. But it's pretty simple, and there's a snake right in front of me right now. There he goes. Oh, well, you can't see him. But, um, oh, I forget, I forget, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, hold on. So here I am, I'm exiting, exiting the Smokies. Have to put in my other, my other portion of the, my other half of the permit that I filled out with my number two Ticonderoga, and I'll be on my way. So, um, okay. So my cooking system, yes, it's um, it's a single burner. It's got a small fuel tank. Uh, and, a, and a pot to boil water in 
And that's basically all I'm doing is boiling water and to fix my meal. Um, so it's pretty simple. The only thing is just sometimes if you're not in a shelter, you have to uh, try to find a flat spot to, to start your cooking or to cook on. Uh, the last thing was, did I lose anything? Uh, I didn't, I've misplaced things. <laughs> I thought I lost my microphone and earplugs here, uh, but I just misplaced them. I found them in my uh, rain jacket, zipped up in my rain jacket. So um, other than that, I haven't lost anything uh, as of yet. So this is ending my day 22 and I am at Davenport Gap. I will see you all later. I'm going back to the hotel and I'll edit and upload videos and the next ones will be whenever I get the Wi-Fi again. See ya!